Welcome back, creative students. We're back from the lesson. Last time we were um, getting, finding the seeds to plant. So now we're gonna get those seeds and material to make little pots for those seeds. You can have construction paper, recycled paper would be great. Pencil, rulers, the glue, scissors, all child safe. Uh, the toilet paper rolls. Hopefully you guys have some of those laying around. Uh, you're going to go ahead and we're going to start with the toilet paper rolls. This is one way of doing a little pot for a plant. You're going to cut it safely. Uh, again, with parent supervision, you're going to go ahead and cut just about halfway. You don't have to be exact. Make sure you're always careful of where your fingers are. Be careful cutting. You're going to give... Uh, the more you obviously make, the funner you can have and have variety of things to decorate those toilet paper rolls. We'll get some construction paper or colored paper of any kind, recycled paper. See, we're making straight lines. We're actually not using the ruler, but you can use the ruler here. It was just folded to give us a straight guide, and then we cut with that guide. Same thing here. You're going to cut it there, nice and thin. And then we will use both colors to kind of one on top of the other to overlap so we can decorate it. The goal is to decorate our pots and have a variety of pots and colors and shapes to plant all our little seeds so they can start growing in our tiny little garden. So we have that extra, we put it to the side and we're gonna go ahead and use our glue stick to line those up and glue them together. You see there, notice that we have that paper underneath to not get the table itself sticky, okay? Always have something underneath. You could put old newspaper or anything quickly. So we're gonna put that gray strip there or any color you choose, be creative with it. And we're gonna put it over the pink. And obviously there's a lot more of the gray. Just cut it, not a problem. And then we start wrapping it around the toilet paper roll carefully. We're just trying to follow the straight line from the top. And there's more, again, there's extra. We'll just simply cut it like we did before. <clears throat> there we go. Cut a little bit more. And we want to, this is very important, write what we're going to plant there. It said black beans, so we will be putting our black beans there soon. I'm gonna go ahead and glue that to put it around the toilet paper roll because we want it to look like a, like a little pot, not like a toilet paper roll, right? So we're gonna go ahead and wrap that around carefully, glue it, perfect fit. It looks good so far. Well, there you go. Now we gotta make sure the soil doesn't fall from the bottom, so we're gonna fold it. And the toilet paper rolls, they, they fold really easy this way. So after we do those two folds, we're gonna go ahead and those extra corners, fold those in as well. Perfect, right there. And again, they fold really easy. You don't have to use too much strength. Now we have a little holder, a little pot for the soil. There we go. Perfect size, nice and cute. Uh, maybe you don't wanna use paper. Maybe you wanna use paints go for it. Once again, make sure you have that paper underneath to take care of the table so you're not making too much of a mess on the table. And maybe you don't want paint. Maybe you want to use markers and egg carton. It's biodegradable egg carton. That's kind of like cardboard. It can be recycled. We're trying to recycle as much as possible. You can do different color patterns, color combinations. Have fun with that. You can do crayons, color pencils, anything. The goal here is to have it nice and colorful and fun. After we've done our pots, we're gonna go ahead and put a good amount of soil or your dirt that's out there in the yard. We put that there nice and full. And then we'll be dropping in right there. Mm -hmm. We put everything in there for, for the seed to go in, right? The whole point of the soil is for the seed. If you make a mess, just go and clean it right up right here so our seed in this case is gonna be a black bean a lot of you guys might already have black beans or any kind of bean in your kitchen the bean itself is the seed did you know that I bet you some of you didn't but it's true the bean itself is the seed so you put it in there right there okay, push it down just a little there we go the fifth one in there and then we're gonna go ahead and just put a little top layer of soil to seal it. Excellent, right there. Okie dokie. 
and then we're gonna spritz it with some water just a little bit of spray of water give it a head start there get wet excellent and it's ready to grow but wait we're forgetting something here what are we forgetting oh we need to name it so popsicle stick we're gonna put beans. Now, you notice that space there? That's so we can put that into the ground. So you wanna leave a little bit of space to, to, to dig into the ground so the word sticks out. Okay, that's important. It's important to label, because if you guys do a lot of these, you, you wanna have the labels to show what everything is. Perfect. Ready to grow. So now we're getting out the marker so we can name everything correctly. We're getting the tomato seed. Remember from the last lesson, we were able to pick those out and put them in the envelope. They are nice and dry. Excellent there. All right, now we put it in there. Same process, look at them, teeny tiny. They will be delicious tomatoes, those little dots. And we have little by little, with a variety of shapes and colors and things you're planting. Look how fun your tiny little garden will start off. Excellent guys, thank you. I'll see you soon.